You're watching Telecom TV's exclusive video coverage of the NGMN industry event here in Frankfurt. Joining me now is Carl Piva, Vice President of the TM Forum. Carl, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. What's the TM Forum's role in the 5G process? TM Forum, it's really a, a global collaboration a platform and community for service providers with roughly a thousand member companies. So our role is really to catalyze change and make sure that we are in fact driving towards interoperability uh, when we make this leap into the digital world. And I think the 5G process, it's a lot about um, uh, creating ecosystems, uh, creating new revenue models, revenue streams. And if we can support that, if we can make sure that this collaboration happens so that it's possible to actually implement and realize these, uh, uh, these use cases, then we have contributed to the process, and that's what we are. In, in, that's what we intend to do from a forum perspective. And so we haven't actually started 5G yet. What is the forum actually doing with regards the development of this new standard? So I think when I take a look at 5G, I, it's so easy to think it's just you know it's another G, right? You just add one, and and then you get get some evolutionary next step. But really, what 5G is to me, it's it's uh, it's much more. It is opening up. Uh, it's not about the radio access network. Uh, it is really much more about providing a, a, an ecosystem play for, for all actors in this ecosystem. You know, gone is the old value chain where you have these, these fixed relationships between, between actors, and income instead more of a, uh, more of a di digital fabric where service providers will play different roles depending on, on, the, on the use case. And I think what's really great with, with this NGMN white paper that was produced uh, earlier in, you know, basically published a few weeks ago, is it, it's, it's really use case driven. It really shows, it really spans the problem space on, on what 5G is supposed to be addressing. And it also, it also forces us to think uh, about the ecosystem, about uh, not just radio, but how this is integrated into a much broader technology picture. So how will the TM Forum support the NGMN vision of 5G? I think part of this will come down to actually do, you know, proper standardization work, uh, uh, sorting things out on, on, on sort of the lower levels in order to make this interoperable. But in a sort of higher up, when you start to see how this will merge with other technologies, uh, virtualization, uh, uh, fixed networks, etc., I think what you'll find is that you will have some market forces come into play. And those market forces will, to some extent, also drive uh, the boundaries. And this is where the forum can play a role, to be the collaboration platform where, uh, where the delineation between what needs to happen in terms of orchestration, management, uh, actually, actually needs, needs to take place. So technologies like NFV are going to be very important? I, I certainly think so, yes. Uh, NFV, uh, SDN, virtualization in general, um, in fact, when, when we look at it, we think it, it's much more of an operational, transformational aspect to NFV than people might initially think about. It's all about service agility as well. So how can I go, for, for instance, from, from um, standing up a service in months down to minutes and seconds? Uh, it just doesn't happen by itself. So it, you need the technology aspects to go hand in hand with how you operationalize it. And the forum is all focused on the operational aspects. How do you set it up so you can actually make this happen? What needs to happen to IT support systems in order for it to support this whole transformation? It's a huge transformation that we think we need to be driving from a, sort of from the forefront. Uh, it's, a, it's impossible to sit in the, in, the, in the back seat and just watch it happen because that won't, this car is just going too fast at the moment. 5G is not going to be built solely with new technology, is it? There's current assets that will be built upon and extended. Yeah, exactly. So take a look at 5G. Again, we have, there will be certainly a lot of new things, uh, a lot of new things in the radio domain, for instance, and spectrum management, et cetera, et cetera. But there will also be a, 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 a good bunch of fairly well-known properties. And the big challenge will be how to integrate these things together to reach interoperability, agility, low cost. And this is where we have a, a responsibility from the forum to help bring our membership together to agree on how this will in fact happen and, and what steps to take to make it real. And how will 5G affect users and society as a whole and indeed today's mobile operators? Just take a look at how much revenue is, is pouring out to service providers 
today with things like over the top. It is absolutely essential that we find a model whereby we can contribute to the rest of the world, where we can provide platforms that other industries can benefit from when they go digital. And I think 5G is yet another stepping stone to making that an easier proposition for the rest of, of you know, the colleagues in, in other verticals. And so the forum, for instance, is, is, is concentrating on you know, if making the internal enterprise efficient, you know, making the leap to, to become digital. Secondly, it's focused on reducing the friction between actors in ecosystems to make, it, make sure we can trade and, and act, interact with each other. But thirdly, looking at how to enable third um, other type of industries like uh, smart cities, smart grid, um, etc. And that will be the challenge that 5G need to be addressing as well. Uh, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting evolution that we maybe didn't uh, sort of count on uh, or, or didn't see coming in the, in the next couple of years. But it's all going to be around creating that business opportunity that we need in order to, you know, basically get back to a sustainable model in the service provider community. Carl, thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you.